guys, this is Deshanta B. And I'm here today to share with you a easy, beginner-friendly, baked Salisbury steak, aka mini meatloaf recipe. You know what time it is. Let's get to the ingredients and stop playing. For this recipe, you will need some ground beef. You can also use ground chicken, ground turkey. This is about four, a little over four pounds, but I will be using a sleeve and a half of this ground beef. You will also need some eggs, some Italian style seasoned breadcrumbs, or whatever breadcrumbs that you have on hand will work as well as the panko breadcrumbs. Worcestershire sauce. A little bit of vegetable olive or canola oil, but I will be using some leftover chicken oil. Onion and garlic powder. Meat tenderizer, seasoned meat tenderizer and some steak rub. This rub is normally used on ribs and meats that you're gonna put on the grill, but I also use this as a seasoning. If you don't have this, whatever seasoning you have will work. Some brown sugar bourbon seasoning and some black pepper. Sweet brown sugar barbecue sauce. If you don't have this barbecue sauce, guys, you can replace it with tomato paste and or ketchup. Two packages of brown gravy mix. And one onion. You will need a bowl, a skillet, also, a baking pan. We'll need some seasoning blend. This is just a mixture of peppers and onions. If you like, you can use fresh peppers and onions and just chop them up yourself. You can also omit this particular step. Okay guys, let's go. Using a skillet on medium heat, I am now going to add one to two teaspoons of oil to the skillet. Now I'm going to add the seasoning blend veggies. Now that the veggies are starting to saute or cook, I'm going to add a half teaspoon to a teaspoon of each seasoning of onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and the brown sugar bourbon seasoning. I'm going to stir until it's well combined, cooked for another three to four minutes, turn the heat off, Set it aside so that the veggies can cool down enough to add to the ground beef. Now I'm going to prep my onion and cut it into thin slices to go over the Salisbury steak once I place it back into the oven.
I forgot to mention that you will need some foil to cover your baking pan. If your baking pan has a cover, then the foil will not be needed. Okay, let's go. Now I am going to season the ground beef. If you have ground turkey, ground chicken, ground pork, whatever you have, it will work. I'm going to mix this ground beef mixture until all of the ingredients are well blended into the meat. I can tell by the feel of this ground beef that I need maybe another half cup of breadcrumbs and you know what time it is guys you know me i'm going to add just a little bit more seasoning Now is the time to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Also get your baking pan that you're going to put your Salisbury steak in. I am now going to form the shape of the Salisbury steak, AKA mini meatloaf pan, mini meatloaves, and then place them into the pan. Let's go. You're just going to take enough to fit in the palm of your hand, almost as if you were making a hamburger. And just gently roll the meat mixture or ground beef to the shape that you want. Okay guys, I'm gonna finish rolling up the rest of this ground beef and place it in the baking pan and I'll be back. Okay, I have finished all of the uh, Salisbury steak, AKA mini meatloaves. Uh, forming them into the shape that I like um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of foil over this pan place it in the oven of 350 degrees for about 45 to 50 minutes then I'm going to remove them discard any fat that may be in the pan add the gravy and the onions put it back in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes and then your meal will be done but just a reminder guys, I do have a food pray, uh, playlist 
called Before Payday Meals, where I try to show you how to make meals that are for a family of four and larger without breaking the bank, trying to keep the recipes as easy as possible. And this recipe will be on that playlist. These also freeze very well. You can prep them and freeze them before or like what I'm going to do, I'm cooking them and then I'm going to freeze them for later on. So guys, with that being said, I'm going to place these in the oven once again for 45 to 50 minutes covered and then I'll meet you back on the other side. I've taken the Salisbury steak aka mini meatloafs out of a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes and let's see what we got going on here. So guys, this is what we have right now. They are not fully cooked. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make the gravy. I'm also going to pour off the fat, the uh, that fatty oil. Carefully pour that off, make the gravy, pour the gravy on, add the sliced onions, put them back in the oven uncovered at 350 degrees for about another 25 minutes and then your Salisbury steaks will be done. I'll be back. I've drained the fat but I wanted to show you some of the other fatty residue that I will be removing from the Salisbury steak. If you can guys carefully remove this gook from the uh, from around the meat as well as the oil okay I'll be back what I have done now is I removed as much of that gook that fatty gook that I could without disturbing the integrity of the Salisbury steak so now I'm going to prepare the gravy pour the gravy over the Salisbury steaks add the fresh onion slices place it back into the 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes uncovered. Let's go. Using a bowl, I'm going to add the gravy mix and the water, mix until well blended, place it into a microwave for four to five minutes. This is what I call uh, cheating the gravy mix. However, if you choose to make fresh gravy, go right ahead. But we will be using the brown gravy mix today. All right, here we go. Also guys, if you want me to show you how to make gravy from scratch, let me know in the comments. It's not a problem. Okay guys, I'm going to place this into the microwave for four to five minutes and I'll be back. This is what the gravy will look like once you take it out of the microwave. Please be careful guys because it is extremely hot. If by chance your gravy should come out lumpy, just put it through a strainer and then return back to your recipe. I am now going to add the gravy to the Salisbury steaks, then place the onions on top, add a little bit of black pepper and the brown sugar seasoning. I made a mistake, I'm going to cover the Salisbury steaks, place them back in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Once again guys, if you don't like the onions and peppers in your Salisbury steak, you can omit it. If you don't have the barbecue sauce, you can use ketchup, tomato paste, tomato sauce. Please make this recipe your own.
And here you have it, the easy, beginner-friendly, baked, beef, Salisbury steaks, aka mini meatloaves. Guys, once you've tried this recipe and adapted it to your style of cooking, all of the preparation will go by so quickly. Serve this Salisbury steak with some mashed potatoes or rice, a salad, a veggie, or even along with my homemade hot water cornbread. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. But don't forget, I do have a before payday meals cooking site under my playlist. There you will find other recipes that are easy to follow and it's also great for families that are large when you're trying to stretch that dollar. So you know what I'm about to say. You know what time it is. Give this recipe a try. Stay safe and stop playing. And until next time, bye guys.